I could have a try at that. It's a trap! It shall be done. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her, too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Why dance at all? Why not sing? <laughs> what has Morrigan told you? What little plan has she hatched this time? Composing your own tune, then. Now there's something even I can dance to. <laughs> that you have come at all means you desire something. Perhaps I may yet give it to you. Morrigan wishes my grimoire? Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. Shame. What will it be, then? It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Come, she will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way.
I shall do it. It shall be done. You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. We have assembled on a short schedule. Crafting component. Very well. At your word, Warden. I would not insult them by act. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Fine gift. You have my thanks. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. What's on your mind? Cure me? What, am I sick now? Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. Ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone, and it is not something to fear. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content. I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I for one am not afraid of death. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the Fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? Yes. 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 Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven craft. You're back? I am blessed beyond all men. I have been chosen to serve Andraste herself. My brothers died in the service of Andraste. 
May she draw their souls to her and cast yours into oblivion. For Andraste! <laughs> Something on your mind? By order of the new Earl of Denerim, no one is to enter the alienage. Maker, don't be so melodramatic. The Arles ordered the gates sealed until order is restored. They were writing, killed the Arles son. With the whole Urian family dead, the regent appointed Rendon Howe of Amaranthine, the new Arles of Denery. There's a mess in there. Now on your way. The alienage, the alienage is closed. Be on your way. I shall do it. You have coins, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can get you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. There's two things I'm here for travel or trade. Understand? Stranger, fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. There's two things I'm here for. Tra Big battle up. Ah, oh, don't mind Greetings, us. Greetings, my lord. Just talk, that's all. And 
Fiva has a long tradition of royal bastards. You don't say. Oh, yes. They've led wars to claim the throne. So oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lonely merchant. It's not your business. But like my father, I was born on the surface. The assembly says we've turned our back on the stone, but they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Twice a year, I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Best of luck to you. The assembly is deadlocked. My no goods are just rotting on their doorstep. I won't just stand here and take this. King Loghain will not... Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Any dwarf who chooses to walk topside chooses to be excluded. You better not let some piss ant in after refusing Loghain's messenger. Wait, look at me. You're the brand who dishonored the Proving. Trust you to be ignorant of our tragedy. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And what was that you said? A filthy brand? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Trust follow. Ah, the paragons, I believe. The dwarves You're worship their own ancestors. You can believe it. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... It has begun. Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. As you say. Very well. So, you know that I'm a Templar, right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. It shall be done. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! I won't have fighting in the commons, especially in front of outsiders. Vieta, I have enough crime without some castless carrying weapons in the city. Your actions risk pain of death. Name yourself.
the Grey Warden recruit? They said you were a friend, but I thought it a joke. Surfacers and their cloud-addled heads. Fine, oh illustrious Grey Warden. What do you want? Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Yes, you should. Good day to you. Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. The men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change would be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. So the Proving Grounds. Bloodsport Entertainment for the masses. That's it's the best. Buildings? What a scandal. Welcome to... You? What are you doing here? Did the Grey Wardens realize what a poor choice they made? I mean no disrespect, Warden. I suppose you're here about the proving Prince Balin called to honor Indran's passing. It begins this afternoon, and yes, as a Grey Warden, you cannot be barred from entering. Come back when we open if you wish to repeat your dubious triumph. Something on your mind? You must know that murder is wrong, I assume. I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? That is why you wish to leave your crows. A crisis of conscience. Yes, that is exactly it. Joke if you wish. But I have the feeling that deep down... I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? I can move aside. I don't have much to bring them. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud that he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Oh, thank you. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. 
We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. Drunken dwarves. What could be the harm in it? Do you know that dwarven ale isn't truly ale at all? And it's black. Marvelous. Told him I don't... Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother doesn't like me spending time in taverns. So I'm curious. You've been living on the surface, right? Does it function any worse than Orzammar for having abolished caste? You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the assembly without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town. And the only dwarf to join in years was the castless who won the proving. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I've always liked that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent deshers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. The Assembly passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course, they turn to crime. What else can they do? As you wish. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Badly. Oh, you're serious? Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. As you... If you want a drink in here, Brand, you'd better have the coin. I'll know if it was stolen. Uh, so that explains the steel you're wearing. I was about to call a guard. I suppose you're the one from the Proving. Well, welcome to Tapsters, and hope we can serve you. Certainly. <laughs>